you gotta admit that the communication and collaboration system has changed drastically due to the global pandemic. Microsoft also realized that, and as a result, they are trying to implement huge changes to their Office apps to collaborate effectively even in a completely remote environment. Therefore, Microsoft Office apps are now adapting to the rest of the world by introducing the Microsoft Loop. Although it will be a dedicated app, its components will still be available across all of Microsoft's Office apps. And if you don't have any idea what this app is about, then let's have a quick overview of Microsoft Loop in today's video. Well, to be honest, Microsoft Loop can be a little confusing at first, but the reality is far from it. It's essentially an app that will provide your teams with a robust canvas to collaborate in real time. It will feature flexible components that can be moved across different apps and no matter which app you use them in, these components will always stay in sync. Microsoft Loop has three basic elements including components, pages, and finally, workspaces. Let's have a brief look at them. If you remember correctly, Microsoft first announced Fluid Framework back in September 2020, and the Loop components are exactly an evolution of that. You can use these components in messages, emails, documents, or in the Loop pages inside the Loop app. So, Loop components will also be available in the apps that you're already using. Aside from lots of familiar components like Agenda, Table, Task List, Microsoft will also introduce new components like a Voting Table, Status Tracker, for more collaboration between teams. Pages are another essential part of Microsoft Loop. It's a flexible canvas that will match the size of your project. And as your project grows, the page will grow as well. Within Pages, you can pull Loop components to work more collaboratively and share ideas with your teams. All the team members can edit pages in real time, and you can even see the position of everyone's cursor as they move or type things around. There are also options for commenting and reacting to express your views in order to conclude on a topic that is being discussed. The third and final element of Microsoft Loop is Workspaces, which is a place for your project in the Loop app. Here, you can keep all the information related to the project in a single place. Loop pages and components are well organized within Workspaces, which you can easily access from the navigation pane on the left. Other than being an entry point, it will show you notifications whenever someone mentions you on something. You can also see all your team members who are currently live on the top right corner. Not just that, you can even see everyone's cursor as they move things around. All in all, Workspace makes it easier to stay on top of what everyone's working on and collaborate on ideas from start to finish. As of now, there's no official release date for Microsoft Loop. But the good news is, Loop components will start rolling out in the next month across Microsoft 360 apps. So, although collaboration in Microsoft Loop is still away, Users will be able to try the existing as well as new loop components in apps like OneNote, Outlook, Teams, and more. Taking everything into consideration, it's clear that Microsoft is making a big move in collaboration. Although Microsoft has made constant improvements to Teams for the past year, it still wasn't ready to compete with other collaborative tools in the market. Now, with the announcement of the Microsoft Loop, we are hopeful that Microsoft is finally ready to catch up with other collaborative apps like Notion, Trello, and Slack. So, that's all about today's video on a quick overview of Microsoft Loop. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.